Kendall for a check of your forecast. Well, Amy, I have a much better forecast for us today than I did last week because we were still seeing very frigid temperatures. And right now, the good news is that we're in the 30s and 40s, so it's not too bad. But check out these records that we broke last week. We broke nine records. That's what you can see in the light blue color right there. And we spent 278 hours below freezing at a Tulsa International Airport. It was just a long stretch from February 8th to the 19th of freezing temperatures, but much better conditions are on the way for us this week. So overcast skies out there. We're still dry here in the metro, but some locations are picking up on some patchy drizzle and that's going to be the trend all throughout the day, so it won't be a bad idea to have that rain gear on hand. 43 degrees is your current temperature. Winds are out of the south southeast at 14 miles an hour and our dew point is at 37, so it has increased since yesterday. That's good news for those folks who felt how dry it was. Well, it's slowly starting to climb as well and temperatures area wide pretty much the same. We're looking at 39 in Tahlequah, 41 in Grove, 39 in Bartlesville, 43 here downtown, 43 in Eufaula and 44 in Stigler. So it's pretty nice, but watch what happens as we head throughout the late morning hours. So we're going to see some bands of light rain and drizzle starting to develop later this morning, and it's going to be very spotty in nature. But then by this afternoon, afternoon highs will top out in the upper 40s to low 50s. Now the greatest location to see the precipitation is mainly going to be in far southeast Oklahoma, stretching all the way over to northwest Arkansas. Then this system slides on out of here and we're dry as we head into the overnight time frame. But temperatures are going to drop back down below freezing once again. So overnight lows will be in the mid to upper 20s. And then by tomorrow afternoon, temperatures will warm up into the upper 50s, almost 60 degrees. But we're not done yet as we head into Tuesday. We start off a little bit chilly once again, 30s. But then by Tuesday afternoon, we are going to be in the 60s. It will be a fantastic day and Tuesday is expecting to be our warmest day this week. So we do have a good stretch of weather on the way. We just have to get through the little bit of gloomy stretch of rain and overcast skies that we have today. So drizzle and light showers are expected for Tulsa and to the east all throughout the day. But then by this evening, that system will clear on out of here. So by lunchtime, we're in the upper 40s already. It's windy and we'll see winds upwards of 25 to 30 miles an hour at times with spotty showers, and that's going to persist all throughout the afternoon as well. Afternoon highs are in the upper 40s. There will be some peaks of sun off to the west of us, so we might see a little bit of a sunset this evening and temperatures will be in the upper 30s by 9 p.m. Chilly, but partly cloudy. We start to see our those clouds clear on out of here for a mostly clear night. And then as we head into the work week, our gradual warming trend continues. Warmest day this week's on Tuesday. Then we have another cold front slide into the region Wednesday night into Thursday, dropping our temperatures and bringing us another chance to see some rain.